comes, of course, as a new task force gets to work to determine just what can be done to prevent the spread of the virus and keep people safe. Right now, there are four confirmed cases in Tennessee. We want to stress coronavirus is not widespread in the state and the overall risk of getting it is low. But we do want to keep you updated on what state leaders are doing to address it. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon attended the task force first meeting today. And Emily, this was put on by Governor Bill Lee. To coordinate the state's efforts to address this outbreak. So the task force talked about things like how to expedite testing and how they will identify patients going forward. And they say keeping people informed is important. I thank you all for coming. Uh, for the first time, a 15 member task force made up of health officials and business leaders met to discuss the impact of COVID-19 in Tennessee. We've been having high level discussions with uh, the team from the governor's office, with TEMA, um, to see what supplies are needed. The four patients in Tennessee diagnosed with the coronavirus are all in isolation. Officials say there is no need to panic. Important to note that from the data that we have originating from China, it appears that the vast majority of patients infected with this virus exhibit mild symptoms. If more cases are confirmed, the state health department will no longer identify at the county where the patient lives, unless the person is in a metro area. Officials say this is typical procedure when dealing with an outbreak. We also have to keep in mind that we're talking about patients here and we're talking about doctor and patient relationships and patient privacy is very important to us. Officials say 49 people have been tested for the virus in Tennessee. Now at least 165 test kits are available. That's up from 85 last week. Private labs and hospitals may soon begin testing patients as well. We will very soon imminently move from not only state health lab testing, but also commercial availability. But not everyone supports the approach the Tennessee Department of Health has taken to address the virus. Anybody attending that meeting would be shocked at the lack of immediate action, the lack of focus, the lack of day-to-day interest in resolving and addressing this health problem. Still, task force members say they will continue to work to stay on top of the evolving situation. Do you have a the task force is also directing people to the Tennessee Department of Health website. There you can get the latest information on the number of cases in the state as well as the latest from the CDC and a number to a hotline you can call if you have questions. We have a link to that website on newschannel5.com. Reporting live in downtown Nashville, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. Thank you, Emily, and many people have tried to call that hotline that Emily mentioned with questions and concerns. The line's been busy. We learned today there are plans to add more staffers to answer those calls immediately. Remember, symptoms of coronavirus include shortness of breath, coughing, and fever. If you think you have the virus, don't go to your doctor. Call your doctor instead.